this video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. In this video, we're going to learn how to create your own billboard, which is to say to put your photo into any photo of a billboard. So here we are with uh, the billboards that we want to actually place our image in. And I'll just open up our second image here, which is the image that I want to actually place into the billboard. So to do this, first we need to copy this image into the computer memory. So we do this by doing Control and A to select all. Then going to edit and copy so it's saved in the computer memory. Now we go back into our original billboard um, image and the first thing we need to do is create another layer. This is the layer of where we're going to place in our image but we're going to do this with the correct perspective and to do this we're going to use a filter which is called vanishing point. So we're going to filter and vanishing point. And with this, what we can do is uh, zoom in here, and we want to draw in the areas, the square here of this um, of this billboard. And obviously, it's skewed. So what we can just do is just click, and then click at the edges, at the four edges here, till we get the perspective of the billboard here. So this is the image plane, and you can see as it's being distorted. And now what we want to do is actually zoom in here and make this um, a little bit bigger than the image area. So you select the image area, which is pretty much this, for example. Now what we do is just make it slightly bigger, but paying attention to the perspective so it's still the right perspective. So as you move over here to the top, you move equally to the right and here the top and equally to the left. So we're making it slightly bigger than the image area we want to end up with. Now we're just going to paste in that image that we copied, right? So we're just going to do a shortcut, which is Control and V. And if your image is too big, like it is at this moment, what we can do, or too small even, what we can do is just do a Control T to as a free transform shortcut. And now holding down the shift, we can change the image size proportionally. Now you can see that as we move the image, it fits inside of the uh, uh, billboard area and uh, if you still need to resize the image just move it off to the side a little bit increase it and then move it about again so once you're satisfied with the placement click OK and there we have the placement of our image so if we open up our layers here we have our regular uh, background layer and now we have the uh, new image with the correct perspective distorted to it. And the reason we actually selected the image slightly bigger is because of this. Um, the um, vanishing point actually creates these weird jagged edges. They're very ugly. And what we want to do is reselect inside of the image here uh, with a crisp uh, selection that will be anti aliased and look a little bit more like this than like this. So that's why we needed it to be a little bit bigger. So now what we do is uh, unview this, we zoom in, and with the pen tool, we're going to reselect our image area. And as you know, with the pen tool, you can actually, after you make your square here, you can actually then move about, uh, zoom in more and move about the, um, the points here. With the direct select tool, we can click on the, uh, on the uh, actual uh, point here and we can actually move it about so we can zoom in here and make sure that we are actually selecting the area that we want uh, perfectly here selected so what we got to do is just move that in and there we are okay so I'm pretty happy with this selection here now what we do is uh, go into our paths so if you don't have this go to window and paths and now you just hold down the uh, control and you can see that uh, the little hand icon changes here, which will make our marching end selection, right? Now we go back into our uh, layer here, and you can see what we're going to use is the inside of this image here, right? So we're going to discard this a little bit. And we do this by um, doing Control and J to copy that uh, image. So we have a copy of it, and if we unview the original one, you can see that we have a smaller subsection of that image and it's like I said if we zoom in here the anti-aliasing is much better more akin to the natural picture here so here we are with our picture placed in but I want to go one step further and that step is to actually make it a little bit more realistic because right now it's not having any of the uh, reflections that we have for example on this picture here this this looks a little bit more believable because it's not just one solid image without any reflections as you would have in real life so what we can do here is just unview this and I'm just gonna clean up here the layer one I'm just gonna trash this here because we don't need that anymore what I'm gonna do is hold down the um, control and click to reselect 
the areas of our new image. And I want to go into our background layer here and copy just that billboard area. So I'm going to do, again, a Control and J. And now I'm going to move that to the top, right? So if we're viewing both here, then we have the uh, original billboard over top our new image billboard. Now with our... Um, with the original billboard on top, we want to now change the, the mode of this to screen. And as you can see, we are automatically getting some reflection. So I'm going to take it turned off. So that's before and that's the after. So it looks a lot more believable. And now what we can do is just change the opacity a little bit. And uh, if, you, if you find that it's, uh, uh, you know, uh, reflecting a little bit too much, you can actually then change that so that uh, you can have your billboard become a little bit more realistic because now you have some reflections in there. So there you are, your own billboard. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you.